moments in your life that you feel overwhelmed by life, by people, by your own issues, by your own circumstances, by demands, by struggles. You're going to fail and you're going to be in your head. You could be saying, I'm not good enough. Life has a way of humbling you. Life will make you shut up. Life will mute you. Shut you down. Because all of us, if you live long enough, will go through a period of feeling so overwhelmed that you think of one more thing, if the phone rings one more time, if I get a, another text, if I get another email, and sooner or later you feel, oh God, just get me out of this. At times you won't want to come out of the house. At times you'll be feeling bad and don't know why, what's wrong, I don't know. Just leave me alone. Why did that happen? I don't know. It's called life. And you have to deal with it. Don't you give up on your dream. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Don't you quit. The part of beginning to get unstuck, you've got to decide that the behavior pattern that you have adopted doesn't work for you. You've got to change your strategies. And changing your strategy means reinventing your life. Recreating you. And you have the power to do that. You want to take responsibility for your life. You can decide that you're going to change, that you're not going to be a wimp. I got me here, I can get me out of this. And I'm getting out. I'm not going to be a volunteer victim. You can decide that you're going to stand up to life. You can permit it to let it hold you down or you can decide I'm not going to let that happen to me. I'm bigger than this. You can decide that I'm going to live each day as if it were my last. You can decide, I'm going to work on myself and develop myself. I'm going to empower me. And all of these things that are happening to me right now, they're just temporary inconveniences. They're not stronger than I am. I'm in charge here. I am not phenomenally skilled, but phenomenally will. I will not give up. I will not surrender. I will not quit. It is a phenomenal will that says every time I get knocked down, I will get back up and I will succeed. I will not surrender. I need you to match whatever effort the enemy is putting up. Whoever your enemy is, match the dog on effort. The only thing you got as a man, your character, your integrity, and what you stand on, what you say, what it means to you. If there's any fear in your spirit right now, it ain't for you. This for warriors, man. This for soldiers, man. To him who much is given, much is required. You cannot build anything that won't bring a battle. And if you're going through a battle right now, it's only because you're building something. Your pain ain't permanent. It might last for a second. It might last for a minute. It might last for an hour. It might last for a week. It might last for months. But sooner or later, if you do not surrender, if you do not give up, if you do not give in, it will subside. You can talk like a victim, you can act like a victim, or you could be a victor, and you can say, despite the odds, I will defy the odds. What will you do with your pain? Will you let it break you? Or will you let it redefine you? You've got to continue to work on yourself personally. You've got to decide to be relentless. You've got to decide never to give up. You've got to find some reasons within yourself that will give you the stamina when life catches you on the blind side to get back up again, to keep on calling and coming back again and again and again. You gonna quit or you gonna make it to your silver? You gonna quit or you gonna make it to your goal? Because life is a fight. It's a fight for integrity. It's a fight for character. It's a fight for a good reputation, your goals, your dreams, your ambitions, because they don't give you those things when you're born. So every morning, I've gotta wake up and I've gotta fight. I gotta fight for my dreams. I gotta fight for character. I gotta fight for integrity. But to win fights, you gotta have stamina. You gotta be ready to fight and bounce back. Punch and counter punch, jab and jab back. You better not feel sorry for yourself. You better not lay down and quit. You better get up and fight. Because a happy spirit does a body good like medicine. Shark the hundreds and predators, they never stop swimming. In fact, if a shark stops swimming, it will die. If a shark goes backwards, it will die. Think like a shark, act like a shark, and behave like a shark. I'm going to think, I'm going to execute, and I'm going to win. I'm going to execute what I've been trained to do. You got to chase it like a man possessed. You got to go get it. And that's how you get to the next level. 
You have to be disciplined every single day and train yourself to follow through on all your fundamentals and that's how you're going to be successful. You have to do it when you don't feel like it. You have to do it when you feel discouraged. You have to do it when you don't feel healthy. You have to do it when you're under the weather. Every single day, you have to train yourself to focus and commit to your business and follow through. And don't you quit until you win.